All right, thank you, Angela. 627 right now. Crews on both sides of the river are out, making sure the roads are clear as you head home from your holiday destination. Power of Two's Laura Simon is live in Collinsville, Illinois, with a closer look at what people are waking up to on that side of the river. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Ty. Good morning, Blair. Good morning, everybody. We just got into Illinois about 30 minutes ago. You can see here in Collinsville a lot more snow on the ground in the IDOT parking lot. So we're going to talk with them here in a moment, but we do want to take a look at what it looks like across the by state, what we've been seeing all morning long. So we first want to show you what it looked like on 40 going west. This was headed towards Front Knack. You can see a couple of plows there, making sure the roads were okay, but it was overall pretty smooth sailing there. Then when we got onto the ramp on 364 West, getting onto 141 in Maryland Heights. We could see a plow in front of us. Those on ramps and off ramps definitely had a little bit more snow on the grounds there in St. Charles County. As we got into Illinois on 157 in Collinsville, there was a plow in front of us and they were certainly taking care of the roads. More of the parking lots and secondary roads have snow on the grounds, but overall the highways are pretty smooth sailing on uh, I-255 going northbound into Illinois, in our way into town here in Collinsville in Cahokia Heights. It was very smooth out on the roads, but back here live in the parking lot, we're joined now with Joe Monroe, and he's here to tell us a little bit more about what his crews have been doing to make sure that people who are headed home from the holidays are staying safe. So Joe, what are your crews out doing this morning? Well, we've been out since 10. Uh, last night, we're about to bring in a fresh batch. We're making shift change at 7. Uh, we expect another round, perhaps mixing with a little freezing rain. So had a good base of chemical from the storm late last week. Uh, they've just been out trying to keep everything safe. Uh, for those that have to go into work this morning, should be a relatively easy go. Just be prepared for, uh, you know, there's isolated slick spots, slow it down, take plenty of uh, space between yourself and other vehicles and give all the plows, whether it's Illinois, Missouri, the women and men have been out several hours at a time. It's the same crew that was out last week. Give them plenty of room to work. You can go work, get where you need to go slowly. Such good advice there. And what's something else people should keep in mind? Because obviously it is much warmer out here this morning than it was on Thursday morning, especially as the temperature started dropping and we got that first system in. So crews were definitely up against some very frigid temperatures, temperatures well below freezing at one point in time. So the chemicals didn't necessarily work as good. But this morning, the interstates look pretty clear. What would you say has been different this time around? They hit the nail on the head. It's the temperatures. Our, our setup is really made for 15 degrees and higher. That's the predominant time we get snow in the St. Louis area. So the chemical that we had down to burn it off late last week worked really well. It will continue to work well. Uh, just there's a chance of a little freezing rain. Don't get overconfident when you're driving, but the chemicals work really well. We're in that 24 to 30 degree range, and, and that's what we're set up for. That's where um, it's very efficient for the chemicals to work and uh, ever, very comfortable for the plow operators to know what to do, when to do it. Uh, they do a great job for us. They're continuing to do a great job. But again, there's a chance for changing pavement conditions. A little bit of snow here. It's going to change a little bit. Another round's coming through. We're expecting it to linger till about lunchtime. What chemicals are you guys using exactly out here today? Well, today we, we actually don't have to use the calcium chloride or any of the real aggressive chemicals. We're uh, salt brine, regular rock salt works really well. Um, it, it's very effective and it's a, a calmer chemical. So the, the operators know exactly how it's going to work and where it works effectively. So we, we don't have any wind to deal with. Temperatures are actually going to be rising, which is unusual compared to what we've been dealing with. Again, it's, it sets up really well for them to do their job exceptionally well, like they always do. Joe, any last words of wisdom for people who might be headed home from their holiday destinations today? Just be prepared for changing pavement conditions. And even though it looks really calm right now, we do have another batch coming through. Um, with the temperatures, it would not be out of the question for us to see some freezing drizzle mixing with it. Uh, again, the chemicals will work, but the trucks have to make the rounds. So again, be, just be cautious, drive defensively, plan ahead, leave plenty of room between all of the other vehicles out there. And if you get behind a plow, that's a winner. Stay behind that plow. Don't try to pass. It'll get, get you where you need to go as safely as possible. Such good advice. Thank you so much for your time Thank this you. morning. Reporting live this morning in Collinsville, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio.